balancing chemical equations. What you are watching now is actually a chemical change. It is a chemical reaction resulting in the formation of new substances. Recall how a chemical reaction is represented. Select the correct option. A chemical reaction is represented by a A chemical equation is a shorthand expression of a chemical reaction. Here is a chemical equation representing the combustion of propane to give carbon dioxide and water. Color the reactant side red and the product side green. Drag and drop the required color in the respective encircles. Let us now learn the steps to write a chemical equation correctly. We know that magnesium burns in oxygen to form a white powder of magnesium oxide. How do we translate this statement into a chemical equation? In order to do so, focus on the chemicals given in the statement. These are magnesium, oxygen, and magnesium oxide. Write them out with their correct symbols and formulae. So that was the first step of writing chemical equations. Remember, write all the formulae in molecular forms, as in practice, atomic forms are unstable. For example, oxygen is written as O2 and not as simply O, or 2O. Accordingly, be thorough with the symbols representing the various elements. Also, be thorough with the correct way of writing formulae of compounds. For example, Mg stands for the element magnesium and MgO is the correct way of representing magnesium oxide and not as MgO2. Always go by the valence rules. Now, the next step is to identify the reactants and the products. Magnesium burns in oxygen. This means both are reactants. The new compound formed is magnesium oxide, the product. Write down the formulae of all the reactants on the left next to each other. Place a plus sign between the two. Similarly, write down the formulae of all the products on the right. A sign of forward arrow is then written between the reactants and products to show in which direction the reaction proceeds. Did you get that right? Now, according to the principle of conservation of mass, no atoms can be lost or destroyed during a chemical reaction. So, the next step is the equalization of each type of atoms on the reactant side with that on the product side. This is called balancing of the chemical equation. Writing numbers in front of the formula of a compound does this. Keep in mind not to change the subscript numbers that represent a formula of a compound. In the reaction, magnesium plus oxygen forming magnesium oxide we have one magnesium atom on the reactant side balancing one magnesium atom on the product side. That's okay. But what about the oxygen atom? There are two oxygen atoms on the reactant side and only one oxygen atom on the product side. Now let's balance that. On the product side, let's write 2 in front of MgO. What happened? 
We now have two atoms of oxygen on the product side too. Is everything okay now? Not quite. Writing 2 on the right hand side balances the oxygen but increases the number of magnesium on the right side. This again is balanced by writing 2 in front of Mg on the left. The equation is finally balanced on both sides with an equal number of atoms. This satisfies the principle of conservation of mass. Here is an exercise for more practice on balancing chemical equations. Remember, the correct formula or symbol for each participant in the reaction must be properly known. Do not change any of the subscripts in order to balance an equation. Use coefficients as whole numbers to balance the number of atoms on both sides. Count each type of atom on each side of the equation and decide which atom or atoms are unbalanced.